Hi everyone, today we're going to be tying a simple ant pattern. Ants are an excellent food source for trout and available for most of, if not all, season. They can be tied in a number of different sizes and colors and can be tied with or without wings. Here I've got a standard dry fly hook in a size 14. For the thread I'm using 80 uni thread in black. We'll get the thread started at about the midpoint of the hook and take four or five turns before cutting the tag. Continue wrapping until you reach the bend of the hook. Now it's time to tie the rear segment of the fly. For the dubbing I'm using Superfine in black, but you can use any dry fly dubbing that you want. After dubbing the thread, begin wrapping up the hook shank until you reach the original tie-in point. Now wrap back toward the bend, ending not quite as far as when you began. Wrap back to the tie-in point, ending not quite as close to the tie-in point. Doing this will create a tapered segment. It usually takes more than one application of dubbing to complete the segment. Better to build up a, gradu a gradual segment rather than using too much dubbing at once. For the wing, I'm using polypropylene floating yarn. There's lots of materials you can use, but I like the poly yarn because it's easy to form a loop. White's the color I'm using, but you could get away with a light gray or even a light tan. Tie the loop in the beginning of the rear segment, measuring so that the end of the loop extends just beyond the bend of the hook. Use a pinch wrap to tie in the poly yarn and hold the yarn toward you so that the thread carries it to the top of the hook shank. After securing the wing and clipping the butt ends, you're ready for the hackle. Any good dry fly hackle will do for the legs. Here I'm using a medium done dry fly saddle. Once again, color is not as, as important as the size. Black or any shade of done will work. Once it's secured, take two or three turns of hackle before tying off and clipping the feather. The hackle provides the fly with a high surface riding profile that's easy to see in pocket water or in a fast riffle. It's water where trout don't have time to pick and choose their food. When the hackle is clipped from the bottom, the fly sits lower in the surface film, making an ideal presentation for a slow moving river or stream, where sipping rises are more normal. Use the same black superfine for the front segment, but tie it somewhat smaller than the rear, so as to give it a more realistic silhouette. Just like the back segment, use more than one application of dubbing to slowly build up the taper. Whip finish and clip any stray hackle fibers. And that's the easy ant. Give them a try, I think you'll like them. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.